Summertime is a great time for kids to practice their favorite sport, and whether it's something they participate in all year or maybe it's just a new hobby, parents do need to keep some things in mind to keep them safe. Joining me now is Dr. Elizabeth Mead with Swedish Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining Hi. us. So a lot of kids are heading off to summer camps or maybe they're just doing some clinics. How can parents help their kids choose the right sport? Yeah, so I think it depends on how old your child is and it depends on what sports they already do. You know, we're finding that kids are specializing in one sport earlier and earlier and that can actually create some problems. So if your kid is a soccer player and they play soccer all year round, it's a really good idea to make sure they have at least one day every week that they're resting and at least one or two months every year where they're not participating in regular sports and they kind of get a break. Mm -hmm. So if this is really a year round thing, summer might be a time where you say we're gonna take one month off. What about the environment? Because as I, my parents were the parents that even if I was going over to a friend's house, they wanted to call ahead. Yeah. Is the parent going to be home? Like, yeah. What are the conditions of my child being there for the day? So I can imagine for a full <clears throat> week at summer camp or even mm -hmm. just day camp, how do you how do you test the waters? Yeah. Well, you can find out. You know, what kind of activities are they going to be doing? I think it's good to think about how hot is it going to be. Make mm -hmm. sure that your child brings water with them or some kind of liquid to keep hydrated, or that they have easy access to it at whatever facility they're going to be. Um, and then think about things like sunscreen and all the other things that we. Would would be doing for our child if we were with them, mm -hmm. make sure that they have access to those same things. What about water sports? I mean, you get, you want to make sure that yeah. there's a lifeguard present. I mean, what, yep. are you, what are you looking into? Yeah, so make sure that there's a lifeguard present. You want to make sure that kids have access to life jackets. And we recommend that if you're going to be out on the water in deep water, that kids are always wearing a life jacket, even if they're good swimmers. And really for adults too, it's a good idea. I think if you're on the water with your kids, it's a good idea to wear a life jacket in front of them so that they realize this is just a family rule and this is what we do. You touched on if, if, if if a kid is doing the same sport year round, mm -hmm. maybe taking some time off occasionally. Yeah. How do you adjust for intensity over the summer though, when those are happening consistently yeah. over a shorter period of time? You know, I think in the summertime, it's, it's okay for kids to play the whole summer as long as they have breaks during the other time of the year. But again, make sure they have at least one day off every week to rest. And then I think it's really important to think about, again, how old is the child? What is their stamina like? If they've been kind of, you know, ditzing along all year, doing a little bit here and there, and then they're going to be playing for eight hours a day every day in the summer, that's a big jump. So you really need to kind of work up to that. In general, do you recommend if a child has a specialty, mm -hmm. sticking with that? Or is it better to try and get them interested in multiple activities, yeah. multiple sports? What's your, what you are your know, thoughts? especially for younger kids, pediatricians really recommend that if possible, they do more than one sport. Okay. Because again, the earlier they specialize and they're really doing one thing all the time, if that happens early on, they're a lot more susceptible to certain kinds of injuries that are associated with those sports. So before the age of 14, 15, it's a great idea if kids can do more than one sport and really keep their physical activity well-rounded. Makes sense. Dr. Yeah. Elizabeth Mead with Swedish Medical Center. Thank you again. No problem.